痛苦之死。What's up, Manage Nation Ninja here, and welcome to Darksiders 3. It's about time we get right down to it. So let's press any button to continue. But oh boy. This playthrough isn't going to be all that long. Whoa. But this playthrough isn't going to be all that long. But, uh... Let's... First off... Audio... Turn that down a tad bit. Subtitles on. And let's go. Yeah, I forgot. Anyways, start new game. Yes, and we're going to be playing on the story difficulty, of course, because that's how I am. Let's go. Combat mode, classic. Enable nightmare mode. Uh, no. <laughs> Why did the creator construct a universe teeming with imperfection, misery, sin? Among the scholars of both heaven and hell, this query is known as the Riddle of Sorrows. If sin is itself a part of the grand design, is not sin then, by definition, divine? A question for the sages. The one particularly restless bunch kept a robust relationship to the topic. The Nephilim. Spawn of angels and demons. Warriors, relentless, unstoppable, blood mad. Until they were betrayed by four of their own. War, death, fury, and strife. The four horsemen of the apocalypse. Inconceivable power was bestowed upon the traitors by those sworn to maintain symmetry twixt order and chaos. The Charred Council. Bear witness as the Council holds court to end the Nephilim War in the name of balance. This is the new pact. War. Bringer of worldwide fire, you are the juggernaut of all pain. Death, dark soul of eternity, you are the deepest decay, you are anti-life. Strife, endless spirit of timeless unrest, you are all that is unsettled in the hearts of that which lives and breathes. And finally, fury. Terrible engine of rage. You are the machine that. Are we to waste our time on ceremony or are we to fight? Step forward and recognize, Horseman. You are the most impatient of your kin, the least predictable, dancing on the edge of your own reality. Your brothers understand the undertaking set before them, but do you? Still talking! Shall I have Death Fetcher some tea, or can we get on with it? Fury, your role in this story is yet to be written. I wonder, will you light the flame of creation anew, or stomp out the embers for good? Hmm. <laughs> 
Dreams more thrilling than reality. Had I known the new pact would be so exciting, I would have let walls separate my head from my neck then and there. Is it possible to die of boredom? Rampage. <laughs> Bored as I am, perhaps you're just lazy. If I didn't love you so much, I'd kill you just for something to do. The call? Finally. Please, please, please tell me you're a planet of demons that needs slaying. Or two. War. What pathetic fate have you brought upon yourself, brother? Watch your tongue. <laughs> I may be least favored of all the horsemen, but my tongue never found me chained to a rock like some dog. Fury, approach us. I take it there is a mess that needs tending to. Though you jest, you speak true. War has broken his vows to this council and shattered the Seventh Seal. <sighs> the Apocalypse? Why would he... We know not yet. As we speak, Earth falls beneath the spears of heaven and the hammers of hell. So the horsemen are to ride. No. While the Char Council seeks to understand how and why the traitor war has committed this abominable act, there is a matter that requires delicate attention. <laughs> we should have called Strife. He's the delicate one. The seven deadly sins have been released. By whom, we cannot say. But the seven roam the earth, free of our prison. The balance between order and chaos is already in jeopardy. The Seven cannot be left unchecked. War is in chains. Death is missing. Strife attends to other matters. The last time you faced the sins, it required all four of you. I can handle those fools in my sleep. But when this task is complete, I demand that you grant me my rightful place leading the horsemen. If you would trade obedience for a title, so be it. But never make a demand upon us, horsemen. You depart immediately. Greetings, Miss Fury. I must admit, this is a fortuitous fate. A watcher? You doubt my allegiance? Please, be not cross. I am such an admirer. Scratch that. I'm a fan. You are the horseman. The only one that matters. Enough! I will allow you to accompany me. Just stay out of my way. I will be as unto a shadow. Steadfast. Silent. More silence! Go! Seek out the place called Haven. Your quest for the Seven Deadly begins there. Fury, wait. I... Whatever has passed between us, search your heart. You cannot believe I am guilty of these crimes. Something is wrong with the universe. Be vigilant, Fury. Forces conspire against us. Keep my word!
And here we are. Finally into some damn gameplay. Soul lurchers. Fallen enemies will release soul lurchers upon death. Blue lurchers act as currency. Green lurchers are punished and nephilims are spite. And yellow lurchers pretty rat bar. Same as usual. You know, from Darksiders 1. Hello there, boy. Yuri, you killed one of the seven. Yes, I know it. I hope it's not ending. But it's terrible. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so this playthrough would be pretty quick for two reasons. One, it's a pretty short game. For two, I've already beaten this game, like, twice before. So it'll be no biggie. And our first boss fight. Haven. A haven for what? Vermin? Humans, mistress. Adorable. Build a house of sticks during the end of the world. Where exactly do we go from here, Watcher? I... I know not but what the Council commands, Mistress. The quest for the Seven begins here. Envy. Mine! Humans! Haven! Everything here! <laughs> Mine! Move on, horsemen, or ye be mine too! <laughs> I'm on a mission. Ha! Protecting humans? Humans think creation favors them. They are apes crawling through dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the grudge you're carrying. Nothing left. They will be my playthings until they break. <laughs> you cannot stop me! <laughs> oh, I don't want to. Humanity is tragically overrated. I am not here for them. I'm all yours. No! All right. Okay. That was easy. <laughs> Don't you get it? What's mine is mine. Okay, C could you not lock on her? Thank you. She's not replenishing her health, is she? She shouldn't be. Oh. Get the hell down here. Aw. I'm not good enough, huh? Well, guess what? I think I am. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, okay. And that's it! <laughs> Pretty. Come and get it. Oh, mistress, not 
to be a father, but weren't you supposed to catch envy? I did. This talisman. It's a vessel. Envy used it to hold energies from the rest of the Seven. It will make a fitting prison for the others once their physical forms have been broken. If I may, there is a... Well, a sort of hum emanating from the talisman. That glow... Will indicate when one of the Seven is nearby. I know. So wise. You are all that the Council promised, Mistress. I'm beginning to enjoy the sound of your voice, Watcher. Talisman of Sin. The Talisman of Sin will guide you to the deadly sins. It's displayed at the top of your screen and directs you towards the nearest sin. The skull symbol indicates the nearest sin, and the circle indicates other sins that are currently accessible. So let's go grab one. Larger crystals. These crystallized collection of spirits can be shattered in your inventory to acquire the souls trapped within them. So let's go do that. It is this. There, and I got over a thousand. But yeah, that was Envy. Although she seemed kind of more like greed. But oh well. That's... I would be remiss in my duties if I didn't point out that even with the talisman, locating the other deadly sins will prove a challenge. <laughs> Finding envy was easy enough. That was a gift. One I would not count on receiving twice. Envy was also by far the weakest of the deadly sins. Anything else to add? Only what I assume you already know. The armies of both heaven and hell have cordoned off the world of man into various areas of influence. Look around us. The upheaval we have seen is the very personification of the struggle between order and chaos. You have set for yourself an unenviable task, given these environments. That's what makes it fun. The other sins are hiding across this shattered world. They strike at angels and demons alike in their own selfish bids for power. Their nice. hubris will lead me right to them. Perhaps. But you will need assistance. Whatever I need, I will take, Watcher. Okay. I knew hey. that war would oh. one day unleash all this. But see, his gifts are impressive. May I remind no. you? Mrs. I guess he's not popping out yet. You have no peer among your horsemen, brethren. Nice. Ow. Yeah, these these little guys that we got to see in Darksiders 1 and, well, 2, but we didn't get that far. We will eventually. I'll go back to it. But you do get to see those little guys. They're in all three games. Duper, I'm coming through her. 
I don't need that when I get out of here. Heal and shine. Come on. Let me out. I need to heal. There we go. Ah! Ow, I didn't even see you till last second. Yeah, that ought to work. Uh, that's something that we can't come back to till later. And I mean like way later in the game. Safe from here. No, I think we have to find uh what's his face? Perhaps there are Holgrim. human survivors. Not my Impressive, but is it just me or is it out of place here? It is a maker tree. Or scorpion will find refuge there. Yeah. Ah, yes, here we go. King of mighty ruckus, says the demon who announces his ambush. Ah, it was not my intention to do battle, horseman. Ah, well, such a passionate little thing, aren't we? Do not test my patience. Very well. War is too hazardous an occupation for myself, horseman. I am here in the name of blind capitalism. I am Volum. Merchant of the Damned, a trader who deals in souls for profit. Even in the face of the apocalypse, one must endeavor to earn a living. And whose souls do you trade in? Angel, demon, or even human. All souls have value to me. I've seen the trail of bodies you've left in your wake. What would I require from you? That depends. What are your needs? Information. The seven deadly sins. Whispers on the wind say that the fabled horsemen are but pawns in a larger game. Victims of a grand setter. What do you know? I know that the first one's free. Call for me if you have souls to trade, and perhaps you will consider my wares valuable. More grim plinth. I'm not even gonna read that anymore. But yeah, read collected souls of all grim to gain attribute points. So we can actually go and shatter all of these. Oh, wait, what? I thought that got rid of all of them. What would this would be fun for both of us? You wish. Farewell for now. <laughs> yeah. And now we can upgrade our health and our strength. I don't really do the arcane shit. Fulgrim and his demon tongue. They live to confound and feed of the scraps of a world they help destroy. Indeed they do. But, but I think that should be it. Fulgrim may be a useful tool on this journey. But I think that's it. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <clears throat> Stay tuned until the next video. And as always, have a good one, folks. Bye.